Okay, here we go. Simplest approach for me. I look at that and I just go, that's the square root of 9. Square root of 9. Non-thinking approach. Not deep and meaningful. So that's the cube root of 1,000. Okay, and it breaks all the rules of teaching if they say you've got to get kids to understand why. For the moment, it's the square root of 9 and it's got the cubed up on top. So the top stays on top. So if I looked at that one, what have I got? The cube root of a thousand, and that's all squared. So the non-thinking approach is the denominator of that index is just the root. So that's a three cubed, which is just three times three times three. That one there, the cube root of it is 10 squared, which is 100. So what does my brain do? I just go the square root of nine is three. So yeah, yeah, you can go more and make more understanding in a second, maybe. Cube root of, ten, of a thousand is ten and square root. Now the tricky one. Cube root of eight is two. You've got to square it and put it on the denominator. So a negative power means move it to the denominator. So I could have written this. I can go one on eight to the two thirds. So the minus power means move, means move it from the numerator to the denominator or from the denominator to the numerator. We talk about invert and we talk about all sorts of things. Now I can look at the bottom and I can go cube root of eight. So what's the cube root of eight? Two. Square it's four, so that's just a quarter. So in your brain, if you're comfortable with it, you can just go cube root of eight is two, square it is four, I put it on the denominator. Bit weird to say this quick. This one will be square root of 4, which is 2. I want to write to the fifth power, so that's 32, and I put it on the denominator. Square root of 4 is 2 to the fifth power. I probably really should write that as 1 on 4 to the 5 on 2. And then I could, if I wanted to, put 1 on the square root of 4 to the fifth power, which is 1 on 2 to the 5, which is 1 on 32. Now, the two really quick ones. What does the negative power do? Moves it from a denominator to a numerator. So all the time we teach you move from a numerator to a denominator, but what about move from a denominator to a numerator? So the 4 to the minus 2 becomes 4 to the 2, 4 squared, which is just 16. Then we put another number on it just to make it a little bit more complicated. So we're going to move that up to the, where's the 10? It's still in front of it, that's a multiply. So if you wanted to, you could have done all sorts of weird things about that. I'm going to talk about it in a second. By 27, that's 270. So if I start it again, that's 1 on 3 cubed. You okay with that idea? Slowly. So we've got 10 on 1 on 27. What do you do with fractions when you're dividing? And put it multiply. So we've got a 10 times by the upside down of that. So I say put over there 27 on 1, which is? 270. So what did the negative power do? It moved it from here up to there. There it is. Moved it from there up to there as a 270. Yeah, okay. Now I could pull this apart. I want to do one last thing with number one and go back to it again and do this to it. We've got a couple of minutes. If I write that as 9 to the half. Now some people looking at this, what I said didn't work for their brain. If you're one of them, you need to look up to this one. I can spread the 3 on 2. I can spread that apart into a half times 3. Explode it out into its two parts. And I can put the half there and the 3 there. By the way, I could put the 3 there and the half there. And it wouldn't make any difference. That's why I keep nagging about. That's just the square root of 9. With a cube, which is 3 cubed, which is a factor of 27. You okay? You can split it apart and think about it, or you can just go to square root of nine. So what have I done over the years, especially in the last five, ten years, nag about square root of nine, nag about that. That one there, going to sleep and tired, cube root. What's this one about? Cube root, ash. What's this one about? Square root. And then in the middle of this, I saw students years ago, we start thinking square roots when there's no square root. Just like your brain was square root, square root, square root, and then all of a sudden you do stupid things and you get to negative. Okay.